So, I want to get the facts on this uh, Donut Tuesday. Donut Tuesday. Yeah, 11.30 to 1.30? It's just two hours, 11.30. Yeah. It encapsulates the lunch hour okay. by a half hour on each side. You said, your traditional lunch hour. So, if I were to right. come down uh, during that time, what would I see? Would I see a, a crowd of people? Would I see you in the in the booth serving? Well, if you came people? down the, the one of the uh, two uh, two previous uh, editions of it, which were the only two we've ever done, yeah. you would have seen a lot of people having a lot of fun at Steve Seashine Park, mm -hmm. sitting in the park benches, enjoying the sunlight, the shade, eating their donuts, and hanging around the booth and Mary there and, you know, everyone having a lot of fun except the people that are disappointed because Mike, not, not everyone got a donut as they had hoped. Um, and I, you know, I feel the worst about that. Um, and so helpless. I feel so helpless. So we have on our, our page, we've got a Facebook page Mm -hmm. It's called City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts, yeah. and you can you can shop on there. What, you, you can pre-order the donuts because we we cook them on the evening before, okay. and we make enough for the pre-orders plus a few extras for my friends that show up, you know, and or, or I'll eat them if they don't, you know. I'll eat them for breakfast the next couple of days. If that happens, but um, we actually this this last week um, things really escalated. And we were we were oversold by a lot of donuts, mm. and we got some calls from. I was rationing them out to these big important offices and these big important buildings around here. You know where they'd want like a couple dozen and bringing up six and telling them you know be You're happy you got six. Just yeah. be happy. Yeah. Say cut them in half, and you'll have a dozen halves. Yeah, you know, but well, that's an idea. But we're we're not. We don't have a license for uh, portioning. Oh, that's yeah. called portioning. Okay, I, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean we can we can do that at our food processing facility, but not at the booth. So well, you could sell it as uh, all the taste, half the calories. I mean, you all could, the all the cost, half the cat. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a good idea. That's just just throwing it out there. Well, you know, all these, the whole thing has come about because of great ideas from the donut loving public. Well, I love donuts. I know you do. You're not joking. I'm not joking. I'm, You're actually like have a history with donuts. Yes, I do. Yes. Um, so I, I I do plan to come down. Now, if I were to come down, I I know that it it, it can get crowded and and uh, parking is a premium. So if I were to take the metro rail down. What stop would I get off to get the closest to the? the I take the. Uh, I get off at Fountain Plaza, Fountain which, which Plaza. is the very the very first uh, station when you're above ground. Okay. And uh, that's the closest one, and it avoids the the most sluggish part of the ride because underground it whips. Yeah. You know, right? There's no cars to hit or anything or pedestrians. Mm -hmm. So it's nice you get right off as soon as you're above ground. That sounds like a good plan. And you just. You're, we're, you know, a, really just a block so away. So, but and you could order a single. You could pre-order a single donut. You don't have to order a dozen or, okay. or, or, or a gross. Uh, you know, just well, and, and it really helps me out because I know uh, I'm I know what to make. You know, I'm going to check my schedule right now to see. Come down on uh, Tuesday the seventeenth. Yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be this Tuesday, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, that's great. Well, that'll be fun. Dave Wonder, actor Dave Wonder, was here last Tuesday. Uh huh. And uh, no one's. Is any? Jackie's watching. Well, we're going to be here all night, Jackie Walker, and we. We hope you are too. Well, I, I, I want Jackie to know that I, I plan to um, come and pick her up and take her out for ice cream shortly. Wow. So, I guess. I mean, That's a nice night out. Yeah. Well, she's, she's, she's working it. right now, and I thought, you know, it's a nice oh, summer she's still night. At the, 
Yeah, yeah she's at the factory. At the factory, making those widgets, those news widgets. Um, Do you want to hear a funny anecdote on the show? Sure. So, Jackie, so Dave Wendy. Yeah. Dave Lundy was here on, on after Dave Lundy. After Dave yeah. Lundy was here on Donut Tuesday, <laughs> and, uh, which is no, no surprise. He's, he's no stranger to right. our endeavors here. He's part of everything, certainly. So, um, we got a call from. Uh, uh, should I mention the names of and he's a, the, the Erie County. I think you're about to. Go ahead. The, the, Erie, the Erie County uh, Board of Elections. Uh -huh. Big big guy over there. I guess I think he runs it. And he seems seems pretty important. And uh, so he he called me on the phone, and he said, "I'm I I can't come down today for donuts because uh, we're." We're just really busy. And I said, yeah, you told, told me that last week, you know, so, you know, we, we weren't expecting you, because the week before he had pre-ordered, just to, to see how they liked him, mm. which was, you know, pretty nerve-wracking, because, you know, the, have you ever been up in the Board of Elections? I have, yeah. The third floor? Yeah. I mean, those people know their donuts. I, There's donut well, boxes on every desk. <laughs> I think it's the Board of Donuts. <laughs> so um, we knew they weren't going to be there for the second week. Not, you know, that was before they even tasted them. They said, we can't make it next week. But we'll take a dozen back, and if they like them, you'll be in solid. And if they, you don't, then it's, it's just the way it goes. But we won't be here next week because we're auditing or busy doing Something. So then he calls up. He says, "I'm not coming down because uh, we're coming out." He called. This. We already knew that, but okay. And then I threw out there. I said, um, "This was before I realized I was screwed." That with my inventory. So I said, "Would you like me to drop drop any by? You know, I, I'd love to. It. It'd be fun, to, you know." He said, wow, sure, they'd be great. He says, uh, send up two dozen. And I'm thinking, I said, you know, I said, I only made, I've only got a couple dozen or 25 unspoken for now. Um, I can bring you AP. And, you know, want me to bring them in a little while, you know, after I'm done. Yeah, anytime we'll be here. Right, you know, glad to hear from them. And then I'm, I'm sitting there, and, and you know, and uh, taking care of everything. And Chris Green from BC Automotive on Hurdle Avenue, the big car repair place. And the owner, Chris Green, shows up, and he's, and he's driving, pulls right up illegally parked by the fire hydrant there, which looked really cool because he was in a really hot classic T-bird. And uh, that the guy getting it fixed didn't know he took it out for a test drive, which made it even better. And he's hanging around, and you know, I know he likes our donuts, so it's like, Chris, can I get a donut? He goes, Well, yeah, I actually I pre ordered a dozen. Is it you did on our Facebook page? Yeah, I, said, I didn't even know you got the order. I, I've never used that. I, I set it up, but like, no one had used it. Yeah, I for kind of, you know, I've had people like tell me, give me, you know, and I'll be down. And um, so anyway, he said, but look, if you don't have enough donuts, um, you can bring them later on if you want. Or, you know, I said, no, you pre-order. We got, you know, we're kind of priority. You, no matter what, you're getting your donuts. So, so I got it, got him his dozen. We got some great pictures of the T-Bird. And then uh, somebody else called up for sent me a text message. I said, I'm over, you know, I'm oversold now. I, I'm screwing over the, the, the Board of Elections already. You know, because I told him 18, and now I just gave, I gave his 12 out of their 18. Maybe I didn't make that clear, Jackie. 
over on the other side. So, it's really so then, I said, Dave, one, do you want to walk over to the Board of Elections with me? We'll deliver these donuts before something happens to them. And uh, he said, if I can wear a hat. <laughs> sure, I have two of those hats. So we put on our donut hats, and I got my, my ID. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm wearing, you know, my white shirt. And, you know, we're, we're looking pretty official. And I got this big bag with the big emblem on it. And we're walking around, and, you know, people are eyeing it and wondering, like, what's going on? We look official. We got these badges and everything. So we went in there. They share the building with the sheriff's department. I, they, they don't really have any security. Which is surprising in this day and age. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit surprising, yes. Yeah, so we, even we were able to walk right in. And we went up to this, this funky elevator in there. It's amazing. And uh, so we get out on three, and you know, I'm used to like, you know, I've been like, screwing around for the last five years, like developing concepts and closing my other things and getting ready. To, I kind of, I kind of lost touch with reality. You know, everything's kind of like a, like a fantasy joke to me. You know, I realize I'm open about it. So, as soon as we get off the elevator, I hold up the bag, and you know, and I got, and I got this. You know, my WBI yeah. looks like. I don't know what it looks like on my. White shirt, no. And I hold her in. As soon as we got, as soon as the elevator opened, there's. If you ever been up there, there's a couple of bureaucrats standing there with rubber stamps serving the public, and the, the, the public is standing there, you know, swearing the things, and you know, because yeah, somebody makes a mistake. But, you know, could be election fraud or something, right? I yeah, mean, we don't want that. That's the only reason they're there, is to prevent fraud. Right. So I walk, walk in and I, I said, department business. And they all, you know, I'm used to people just like not taking me seriously and just joking. They were, they were really nervous. I felt so bad. And they're younger guys. I, I forget that I'm older than, and like I look like I should be trusted because of my age, right? And, and Dave Lundy looks, you know, like, like a president, he plays president he does. in theater. I've seen him, yeah. So, did they, like, like the Red Sea with Moses? No, no, they just sat there like they were, like I was Mike Wallace or something. <laughs> they, you know, I really felt bad. And, um, and they say, what, what can I do for you? I said, I can only deal with Bob. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, because I still hadn't like wised up to what an idiot I'm being, and so a guy comes in and goes, "Well, th this guy's name is Bob." By then, they're softening off. Because this guy's name is Bob, it's a wrong Bob. I got you know, and he comes out with the money. And he's going, "Oh, at least I hope I get a donut out of this." You know, now they're realizing. I told him it's coffee and donuts in the department, yeah. which chilled things out because I really, I really feel I, that image of my mind of them like, with our rubber stamps on them. It's not nice. I mean, they're, they're doing their job, you know, and they don't need this stuff. They needed the donuts. So, so. But you only had six. I only had six. So the guy comes out and he's got like more money than I've seen yeah. since I've been in the donut business. <laughs> it was like 25 bucks or something. You know, it was a lot of money. And I... You know, I had to just take out six dollars from his yeah. hands full of cash and say, I, I was able to get you six, you know, I apologize, you know, but, but I appreciate that you, you called, you know, today for him and we gave him you some. And uh, so there was that. So, um, that's, it was fun. That's a good story. Is it? Yeah. It's fun for me because, you know, because I, I did it. As the added benefit of being true. Yeah, Which absolutely. Well, you got a kick out of it. And it was fun. We, took, we got some pictures and things to use. Right, I like the donor business. You know, it's really fun being dispatched 
out into these big important buildings with these donuts and costumes and there's no delivery people. charge either right i mean you just no i just love doing it um you know to make something with your bare hands yeah. and then you, you go and then these people are so happy you know because it, it's just you know, changing their day a little bit I, mean, I know how it is when you're in the grind yeah. for years and years and years and little things like that are a big deal I think I think so too although it's been a long time since I was in the grind quite like that but, um, I was self-employed for years and years but I created my own grind yeah you know I'm not complaining I liked it but you do get into a kind of a, a routine and kind yes. of it's a rut it's a rut you want you create that because it works and it's efficient and you're getting things accomplished that way but um, you know it could use a little a little fun and it's a, it's a nice little break little uh, it is I think that's what we're shooting for you know well thank you for sharing that story Howard and we, uh, I think I think I think we lost Jackie. Is there anybody besides now, me that? Well, now uh, now now Pete's wife is is here. <laughs> well, it's great to see you, Maria. One at a time. She said she's in the garage. Well, Jackie's not there, but I'm going to go with her. I should take her out for some ice cream right now. So I'm going to leave the hat here. Where are you going to go for ice cream? Are you allowed to say? Uh, oh, well, I wouldn't ice. say. Yeah. <laughs> The crowds, because uh, yeah, um, I'll just say wherever she wants to go. That's what I'll well, yeah, that's a given. That's a given. All smart guys understand that, yeah. Mike Piatto. Okay, Howard, thank you for uh, spending a little time this evening. Well, you, know. you, you made the night extra special, Mike. Well, thank you, Howard. Uh, perhaps I'll see you on Tuesday, but if I if I do come, I will. Pre-order my donuts. Well, that'd be appreciated because that way, that's 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 a donut or two less that I have to worry about yeah. screwing the other guy out of. It's kind of our motto around here, you know. We, we screwed the other guy to give you the better deal. Put it on a hat. That's good. I like that. You like that? Yeah, I like that. Something we've been toying with. Okay. See ya. Thank you, Mike Beato. <laughs> Mike Beato, a proud favorite at WBIG, of course. Oh, Jackie did hear the story, Mike, and uh, she chimed. She chimed back in. But somehow we're still at one viewer. I, she's kind of a tag teaming with Mrs. Garage. He's on the way. I think she saw him walking out. She watched him walking out. Wives love these, love WBIG TV. They can see where their husbands are. Right?